Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. We're at the ITU headquarters, of course. And I'm joined by, for the second year running, Rob Bacago. Good to see you. You're, of course, the AI program leader for PwC, who, of course, are a key sponsor here for this event. Um, why come back for a second time? What have you learned new? Well, I thought last year was a fascinating start. We had a great conversation, 500 stakeholders from across the globe. We really started the conversation moving forward. But it was always important for this second edition to really start putting tangible progress in place, tangible action and real commitments to move this debate on. And I think we started to achieve this in the first couple of days so far. Now, why is PwC involved in this? I mean, what's the AI connection for you? Well, as an organization that first of all employs 240,000 people around the world, the technology will have profound implications for us. But of course, whether it's working with a huge number of organizations around the world, over the last 12 months in particular, we've seen an enormous explosion of interest in why this matters to businesses. What are the risks? What are the opportunities? And I think um, the, the technology is really starting to come through now and starting to promise really interesting breakthroughs in business. But the heart of this matter is the matter of trust. And if we don't get this right, then the opportunities uh, discussed in this summit in the last two days won't be realized. So a lot of the work we've been doing so far has been to advance our approach to developing responsible AI. And what does that entail? Well, responsible AI considers AI as way beyond simply a pure software technology. We're looking at a technology that requires a different approach to embedding this into your corporate strategy. It has to take into account the new approach to regulations such as GDPR. But also you have to find a way of bringing your people on a journey and win hearts and minds. There's a severe amount of anxiety now about the impact on things like job automation, on the risks that come through with AI around biased decision making. So as an assurance provider, our methodology around responsible AI allows our clients and organizations we serve to find the benefits on this technology and accelerate the innovation, but in a way that builds trust, avoids those risks, and tries to avoid those unintended consequences that could come through with AI if it's not harnessed responsibly. Let's look on to the downside first. I mean, you've got a headline figure on PwC's done research on job deplacement or replacement. Mm. What does it say on AI? So our uh, report around job automation suggests that by the early 2030, up to 30% of existing jobs could become susceptible to automation through technologies such as AI. It's a, it's, a, it's a big number, but there's a lot of nuance behind that. It differs by country, by educational attainment, by industry sector. On the other side, if we get policy right, there's a huge opportunity to drive labor demand and create a whole new category of jobs that don't yet exist. But that requires companies grasping the right strategy to think about how do they prepare their people for the future, lifelong learning, working with governments to design the effective policy and the right regulation and standards to advance this in a way that protects people? Yeah, I'm just wondering because I've heard that kind of figure before, but the countries with the most robots and AI use are Japan and Germany, and they have maybe the lowest unemployment in the Western world. Mm. So is AI really that much of a threat to jobs? Well, I think this gets back to this narratives piece that we've started addressing in the Trust in AI track today, which I thought was a fantastic session. The, the debate in the public domain is too polarized. There is a risk of jumping on these big figures and we're guilty of producing them without necessarily making sure we get the nuance of this across. The upsides are extraordinary. On the other side of the debate though, there is a risk of overhyping the technology and uh, finding a way of taking a calm, sober, considered course to drive the narrative which I think this summit is achieving really well, really helps us to uh, educate the public responsibly about why we have to go on this journey because there's huge upsides, but be mindful about the way that we effectively mitigate those downside risks. And finally, um, now you have 500 other people you can talk to, stakeholders here, and you have a great audience for that. What do you do at PwC when you're away from this to push this message? Well, I think the, the way that businesses start to adopt this technology now is critical around this impact of these really quite hard and consequential use cases. For me, this isn't sitting in isolation. Sustainability, the SDGs, do not sit divorced from good, profitable and responsible business. For PwC, this sits front and centre at the heart of everything we do as a responsible technologist business. Okay, fascinating. So that's Rob McCargo. 
from PwC and the uh, program leader for that. And uh, no doubt we'll see you again here possibly next Look year. Look forward to it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.